then then maybe to to get this conversation going to the next topic um, regarding the let's say main structure of the repository. Uh, so right now uh, we have uh, let's see, let's see what is, so we already have uh, several files in here, and I think or the current main structure is a basic introductionary to to privacy and Bitcoin in general and to Wasabi in general. And a chapter on installing Wasabi Wallet uh, with both the packages and the source and backend. And then all the features of uh, Wasabi and one chapter specifically on the development, as well as one FAQ section that is quite huge, plus the dojo contribution thing, which might be merged with uh, development. But uh, what, what do you think about the overall structure of uh, a documentation. Maybe Steve, to to start with you, how how did you structure the BISC uh, documentation? Oh, that's a good question. I think uh, I have to give the credit for the the foundational structure for the BISC documentation to Chris Beams, um, who, who did this probably a year, two, one and a half, two years ago. Um, but the basic structure is, uh, I guess, divided into two to two parts. One for one part for contributors and one part for for traders, and then um, yeah, just kind of segments from there. What traders need to know, what contributors need to know about contributing, compensation, and what traders need to know about securing their wallet, backing up their files, um, trading rules. Um, obviously, that's probably very specific to BISC. Uh, I guess that's how we do it uh, at a high level. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, th thanks. Maybe, Britt, the same question for you. How did you decide to structure BTC Pay? Uh, I think mainly it is in terms of like calls to action for the user. So when a typical user goes onto the documentation website, they're sort of thinking like, what are the steps that I need to take unless they have a specific question. Um, and so usually when we add new information to the documentation, it kind of follows this trend of like, is this a, an FAQ or is this a general question? Um, so that's for new information. And then kind of just focusing like a structure on the different levels of, um, you know, ability and familiarity with the software that the user might have instead of, um, you know, structuring it by like, what are all the possible things that you could learn? I think that's kind of like a little bit overwhelming for the user. It should be more or less like um, sort of like things to accomplish to be using the software to its fullest capability um, and also helping the user solve problems at the same time and learn more. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what we uh, try to do with, with the BISC documentation is just try to ease into uh, more advanced usage. So start off, you know, simple, what is BISC and then get into like a very basic, uh, how do you actually use BISC from a practical level? And then, you know, below, that's at the top of the page. And then below that, we get more into the details of what you would want to do as a more advanced kind of power user uh, and make use of all the, the, the BISC features and settings. Yeah, I, um, in BTC Pay also, we try to emphasize a lot of visual representation of the user interface, um, just because there are quite a few uh, places to navigate in the software itself. And I think that Wasabi could also benefit from something like that, where the user might not be uh, familiar with how to navigate the user interface. 